Welcome everybody to a brand new installment of Monday Night Raw here on the Powerbomb Inc. YouTube channel. As we are on the back end, we are the night after WrestleMania. The biggest WrestleMania in history. And this man right here, this man has raised a lot of questions on the internet over the last 24 hours. He mentioned there was going to be a new era here in the WWE. And well, we all have the same questions, the same concerns as to what he meant by that. But if I know Hunter, like everybody else feels like they do, in Triple H, we can trust. As you guys could see, just based off the production alone, you could see the ring aprons. You could see the stage design. Everything is changing and is changing very, very quickly. When it comes to our other answers, our other questions, Hunter is here to provide us with those answers here tonight. Questions like, who is going to be the new Raw General Manager? What does the new era entail? What will the championships be? We will all find out here in just a few moments. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you to go down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to see SmackDown, go over to the Super Kick Theory channel. 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday. His first episode will be coming out then. But as for us, let's get our answers right here, right now, by the game, Triple H. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. Now, after on the back end of WrestleMania, the biggest WrestleMania in history, breaking record, after record, I have found myself wrapping my brain around how in the world are we supposed to get moving forward. And I found out in the best way I knew how. I called up a couple of friends and I figured it out. We're starting a new era. I called them up and the night after WrestleMania last night, we came up with a draft. Where the general manager of Monday Night Raw and the general manager of SmackDown went back and forth. They chose their picks. I got the production team up and running. And we all put together new logos. New stages, the whole nine yards. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? No, I said, are you ready? The new 
general manager of Monday Night Raw is the Viper Randy Orton. Monday Night Raw has decided we will be keeping the World Heavyweight Championship. We will be having the United States Championship. We'll be having split tag team championships. And one last championship I will leave that for Randy to announce. Now when it comes to declaring the as a oh my Roman Reigns it looks like Roman has a bone to pick with Triple H Roman Reigns if he didn't catch WrestleMania Roman Reigns lost to the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes ending his historic title reign since the draft Jimmy has gone to SmackDown Jay even has gone to SmackDown solo is still a free agent and Roman as of right now besides the special counsel is by himself Roman Reigns has had 24 hours to recuperate. He has had 24 hours to come up with some sort of way to get back up to the top. We'll see if the Tribal Chief is able to do that. But when it comes to the World Championship, that Triple H was starting to mention Roman Reigns, that's when he decided to interrupt when Triple H brought up the world title. Looks like Roman might go ahead and try demanding it back, we'll see. I don't think that would be the wisest decision. But Roman Reigns is in a vulnerable Triple spot H. Right now. Acknowledge me. This whole thing, I've been running this place for four plus years. Holding the undisputed championship When you want a credible world champion You put it on me You don't call old news John back The man who I took that torch from Over eight years ago. This is my yard and because I have won one small fluke at Wrestlemania that doesn't mean anything. I have the longest world championship in the modern era. You said WrestleMania was the biggest of all time. And do you want to know why? It's because of your tribal chief. The head of the table. The reason why WWE hasn't gone under. Well, Roman, I hate to break the big surprise, but at the first pay-per-view of the new era, there will be a gauntlet match to determine the world heavyweight champion. And since you want to interrupt me and badmouth Cena, well, I'll do Randy's job real quick. In the main event tonight, it'll be John Cena versus Roman Reigns. Loser enters first. Now, Mr. Chief, without your bloodline, if you don't mind, I have to go to Atlanta. I'll see you all on SmackDown. That is a massive main event for here tonight. Roman Reigns versus the return of the GOAT, John Cena. Loser enters the gauntlet match first, and Roman does not look happy about it. What a great way to kick off Monday Night Raw. But next up, we have tag action. And you'll see what two teams are up against each other. Braun, with this gauntlet match coming up. I want to give you the opportunity of a lifetime. 
I want to see if you have what it takes to get in the ring with the very best. But I'm not just going to hand it to you. Next week, I'm going to have you face off against a 20-year-old veteran. Let's see if you got that dog in you. All right, we'll see. Welcome, everybody, to Monday Night Raw. And I'm sorry I wasn't out there with Hunter earlier on. I've had a lot on my plate, and I'm trying to be a people pleaser. We'll see how long that lasts, though. Either way, you all have questions, and I have the answers. Well, what's the first pay-per-view? Well, we're going to be going back to the UK for Clash at the Castle. Why is there no women on Monday Night Raw? And I'll tell you this. SmackDown has exclusive rights to the women. But Monday Night Raw was able to bring in a brand new championship in which that championship is the Cruiserweight Championship. Which, in tonight's contest, it will be Johnny Gargano versus Santos Escobar versus Ricochet. In which the winner of that will go on to face the winner of next week's contest. Between Rey Mysterio, Ilya Dragunov, and Wes Lee. And as for who else is in the gauntlet match. Well, you already know Roman Reigns. You know John Cena. We will see between Braun Breaker and the 20 year old veteran. And for the last couple, I have to think about it. But my answers will come to you soon enough. Next week, Monday night, 6 p.m. Eastern, you'll get your answers. Now, let's head on to the first match in the Cruiserweight Tournament. And the answers just keep on coming. Our first pay-per-view, we're like Randy said, we're going back to the UK for Clash at the Castle. In which, you know, tonight, later on tonight, we'll be getting Johnny Gargano versus Santos Escobar versus Ricochet. The winner will face next week's winner between Rey Mysterio, Ilya Dragunov, and Wes Lee. The two winners will battle it out to determine the Cruiserweight Champion at Clash at the Castle. But also here tonight we'll get a good look at the tag team division between we got the Newfound Republic who are coming out to showcase their skills. They only just reformed a little less than four or five months ago. Now here they are, tag team action, the first time on Monday Night Raw. As they will be facing another team in which we still don't know who it is. But we have a plethora of great tag team superstars here on Monday Night Raw. Oh? Wait a minute. Oh! Big E! is back from his neck injury over two, three years ago. Big E is back. And he is teaming alongside Kofi Kingston, although Xavier Woods got drafted over to SmackDown. We still got two-thirds of the New Day. And they are all joined and bundled it up. They have the cereal, they got the bootios, they got the pancakes, and they are hyped up to finally tag together once again. Big E, I'm sure, is ecstatic about being able to wrestle once again. Although, it does suck to see Xavier Woods is on SmackDown, so when it comes to New Day... We don't get a full-blown reunion just yet. We might have to wait and see if we can get that to happen. But here tonight, tag team action. I'm ready for it. I'm sure you guys are all ready for it. Let's get this action started. 
the official for here tonight is John Cone. John Cone. Let's get this match started. Looks like we're starting off with Pete Dunn and Kofi Kingston as Kofi is lighting them up. Big knee to the chest as these already look for the cover, trying to put this away early. Only a one count though as Bait was right there as E. E charging right after Bait is Tyler and Big E are battling it out on the outside as Tyler, as you can see, just, oh my goodness. Was trying to break the fingers. I guess he's learned some things from his friend Pete Dunn. So looking for it again is Pete. Pete, submission hold is Tyler. Once again, just really raking the fingers, trying to break them off. As Pete looks for a couple of forearms. Kofi with a couple of strikes of his own coming back. Spins a run at Tornado DDT, taking Pete down. Oh, gets caught with a kick. It's Pete Dunn. Oh, there we go. Cover one. Only a one count as Kofi kicks out. As it looks like Tyler. Oh my gosh. Suicide dive from Pete Dunn. As Dunn is trying to get a hold of Big E. Giving Kofi the opportunity to take. Oh, right into the post. As big leg drop. As we have removed the padding here. When it comes to Monday Night Raw. We are moving full blown towards TV 14. That means blood. That means violence. That means some strong language even. Count of seven by John, by the referee. As, oh, Kofi was picking up some steam there. Sends Pete, no. Oh, they bump into each other as Kofi is able to recover quicker. As he goes to the ropes, leapfrog. Goes down, and an arm drag. As it looks like we're getting Big E in the match for the first time in over three years. There's a takedown for me. Oh, Pete with a punch. European uppercut. Oh, oh my goodness. Stop with these kicks, Pete. It's Pete done. The bruiser weight. Just, just making Big E go in ways that he should not have gone into. Trying to extend that arm. As here comes Bait. Collar elbow, but Big E, the power, drops him on his side. As we saw a little glimpse of this on the outside. Z lifts him up and he tosses him across the room. Ooh, kick, that might have been a little too low there. Luckily, the referee up close and personal just to make sure that that, does, that, that did not go low there. So we see a little bit of a standoff here between the two. Standoff, a big punch from Tyler. Chop, chop. Strikes galore as Big E caught that one. Sends him to the ropes. Oh no, Tyler able to fight back. Drop down. Oh, Biggie. John got in the caught in the mix there. As Tyler hits him with a hurricane Rana and now working on the arm once again. Oh my goodness, twist in the arm. So he goes to the ropes, tags in Pete. As it looks like Kofi. We need. I think we're gonna need Kofi in this match if we want to see. E, succeed. If we want to see the New Day pick up the victory, I think that's what we're going to need. Is Pete, uh-oh. Pete Dunn lifts him up. No Big E reverses. Chuck block, taking Pete down to a knee. Oh, and these massive elbows to the side of the head. Might have clipped the ear a bit. As here comes Kofi. Kofi Kingston gets caught with a boot. As Pete goes to tag in Tyler Bate, you know, keeping the freshest man in the ring. That's probably the way to go, especially both tag teams. E, the New Day, especially massive tag team veterans, one of the longest tenured tag teams or factions in the history of the WWE, if not the longest. 
As Kofi, Bulldog, no, gets thrown off. Bulldog got thrown off by Tyler as a punch lighting him up with these strikes. Big strong boy is getting ready. He's getting pumped up. As he runs to the ropes, runs back, bounces off. Clothesline missed. Clothesline missed. As Kofi hits him with a DDT. DDT by Kofi. Is that going to be it? Counter. One. Only a one count, though. As Tyler was just able to rest on the apron there. It's a doomsday, Saido. So Kofi Kingston. As he lifts some. Oh, never mind. Not lifts some. Oh, beautiful, creative submission hold there. But Kofi was able to sweep the leg. Bouncing off the ropes. Crossbody taking Tyler down as cover hooks the leg. One. Only a one count. Only a one. As a caught tag to Pete Dunn. But Tyler was in the way. As Pete gets hold of Kofi. Lifts him up. And he drops him. Snake eyes onto the top turn buckle. But Kofi not letting him get any more offense there. Not letting him get any more than he has to. It's Kofi. Trouble in paradise. Taking Pete down. This Pete, you could see the busted open. The busted nose. Maybe, maybe Kofi might have accidentally broke the nose of Pete Dunn. As he's getting the fans behind him. As big run and drop kick. No. Pushed out of the way. This Pete has a pull to the back of the neck. Maybe look for a double team. Double team maneuver. Oh, double axe handle to the wrist. Trying to hyperextend the wrist of them. European uppercut. Oh, tag to Big E as Tyler Bate goes to the top. Gets caught with No, never mind. Tag right then and there to Pete Dunn as Big E. I think this is the first time both men have been in the ring so far. Together, I mean. Gets sent to the outside onto the concrete floor as Big E has taken the straps down. As a big splash by E onto the outside that is not going to get him the victory. Oh, Pete turns it around, hits him with a couple of forearm strikes. As Pete, oh no, Big E not going to let Pete Dunn spoil the return. Oh, never mind, Pete, coming back here. Sends him all the way, scraping onto the concrete. Oh, there we go. There we go, Kofi. Is Pete trying to make it to Tyler, but Big E was able to cut the ring in half. Very, very smart. Like I said, when it comes to tag team psychology, New Day have it on lock. They know how to cut the ring in half. They know when to use their double teams. They know when to tag in and out because they've been doing this for over a decade. This Big E slams him into the corner. Tag to Kofi. As he plants him down with the New Day's tag team finisher. His cover hooks the leg, but Tyler was right there. Gets caught with a big boot by E. New Day, big leg drop as Big E is right there. Big E making sure that Tyler does not get in. Two, three, New Day picking up the victory in Big E's return matchup. Let's go, Big E has returned. Oh, a little bit of a tribute. I guess when he was gone, Big E learned how to do the trombone. Big tribute to SmackDown superstar Xavier Woods. Well, it seems like DIY is over. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. We had a good run, though. We, we faced the likes of Imperium, Judgment Day, New Day. We got to face everybody we wanted to. But now, now, it's time to accomplish some of our personal goals. With the new era being drafted separately. 
And I think it's time for that moniker of DIY do it yourself. I guess that's what we're gonna, we're gonna have to do. But I always have your back. I always be here for you. That's not changing. Thank you, Johnny. Good luck in your match tonight. Thanks, Tommaso. Alrighty, we're getting this triple threat match underway. As here comes Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar, you know, he's had a very weird sort of year. He he's he was a part of LWO, as you see on the Titan Tron. Then he betrayed Rey Mysterio. You know, uh, he created his own group, and now that group was not drafted with him. So Santos is kind of on his own for the first time in a very long time. As he is looking to make an impact on the cruiserweight division. Santos Escobar, extremely talented. He is an extremely talented individual. Just, he has to get his mind in the right place. And I feel like with this cruiserweight qualifier or tournament or whatever you want to call it, with this, this is the key to becoming the inaugural cruiserweight champion. So that's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure being put on these three men. Is here comes Ricochet. Now Ricochet, Ricochet, he's been kind of floating around the mid card division. He had a match against Logan Paul at last year's SummerSlam, and since then he hasn't really done anything. He hasn't done anything. He wasn't on the WrestleMania card. And now he's fully back, and what a perfect place for him. The cruiserweight division. Ricochet is already an insanely athletic high flyer. This is his ballpark here. And that's what the cruiserweight division is all about. It's about these high flying acrobatic agility as he is jogging to the ring. Uh, yeah, like you, you could just witness right here. That is what the cruiserweight division is all about. It's about these high flying moves. It's about just showcasing the people who don't normally get showcased because of the bigger stars now who's to say that you know ricochet or santos or gargano won't break out you know anything can happen and even cruiserweights like Rey mysterio have broken out and have become world champions royal rumble winners so it's not like I'm doing anything by showing them, hey, the Cruiserweight title, it's it's to help you bit, get showcased a bit more. But, you know, it's what you do with that opportunity. You could take it, you could run miles with it, or you could take it and you could flounder. We're going to see as Johnny Gargano, Gargano, just recently, just now, splitting from DIY. DIY, Champ and Gargano have decided to go their separate ways, and now... Now we'll see what each individual is made of. Johnny Gargano down in NXT. Johnny Wrestling. Triple Crown NXT Champion. That means he has won the NXT Championship, the North American Championship, and the NXT Tag Team Championships. And he was the very first to do so. Alright, let's get this match going. Put down in the comments down below who you think is going to be walking out of this of this triple threat. Headed to Clash at the Castle as Gargano and Ricochet going first, head first towards each other. As Gargano, oh he missed. Santos. That's what, <clears throat> that's what these triple threats are all about. These triple threats are all about, you know, attacking when your opponent has no clue when they're focused on the other person is Ricochet with a big pump kick. Goes to the ropes, comes back, diving elbow. 
insanely agile ricochet as he gets turned inside out with a tornado DDT from Gargano. As Ricochet goes to the ropes again, misses this time. A Santos who's getting held up by Johnny. Oh, diving clothesline, stunning both men. As Gargano blindsiding Santos Escobar. Is now Santos is taking a breather. He's taking a breather, and that's probably the smartest way to go about these triple threat matches. Let the two other opponents battle it out, and then you come in, you're gonna be the freshest man in the ring. The clothesline missed as Johnny sends Ricochet to the outside, and now it's Johnny and Santos. You know, if somebody wanted to do a quick roll up, you could probably put this match away early with Ricochet down on the outside. There's Johnny. Massive forearm stumbling Santos down to the mat. Shot missed. Oh, drop kick missed. As Santos. Oh, that's going to hurt the shoulders and the upper back of Johnny. Hurricane Rana from Santos. And now it looks like it's going to be in Santos' favor. As Escobar. Is very good. He is a very well-rounded competitor. Same as Johnny and same as Ricochet. All these men are very, very well diverse in their move sets. Is a German suplex. Johnny lands on his feet. Johnny lands on his feet as he goes to the ropes. Comes back. Oh, flatliner to Ricochet. As Johnny gets caught with the punch. Oh, an elbow. As Johnny goes to the ropes. Comes back. Oh, barely missing that. He might have slipped on the ropes there as another diving elbow from Ricochet. Johnny has a hold of him. Sends him into the corner. Oh, gets caught with an elbow. Oh, punch to the face. That does not. Oh, my goodness. A pump kick from Ricochet once again. And now Hurricane Rana. Tilt to world Hurricane Rana. It's Johnny missing the elbow. Super kick missed. Oh, but a super kick to the back of the head from Santos as now Ricochet throws him over his shoulder just so quick. I can't commentate as cover hooks the leg. Not even a one count as Santos was right there to break it up. Goes to the ropes, comes back. Single leg take, drop kick. It's a drop kick from Ricochet. Now a neck breaker. Keep in mind, one of these men, the winner, will go on to Clash at the Castle where they will face the winner of next week's contest between the Fall of Famer, Rey Mysterio, the up-and-comer, Wesley, and the former NXT ch champion, and Ilya Dragunov. That's going to be a very, very fun matchup. That's old Johnny landed on his legs. As Santos goes to crossbody. It's cover. Not even a one as Johnny was right there. Oh, gets caught with an elbow. Oh, pump knee. Spinning kick from Ricochet taking Santos down. I believe Santos is actually busted open. Oh, there it is once again. Yeah, as you can see, Santos, his right side of the face is completely covered as he plants Johnny face first on the mat. But Ricochet, oh, recoil. Recoil from Ricochet is cover. Oh, Johnny was right there to break it up as that was a two count. As Ricochet lifts Johnny up. Oh, but Johnny was able to score him out of it and plants him down. Just Johnny. Kind of sizing up Santos, a forearm as Ricochet is on the apron. But he's not going to take anything as Johnny was right there. Forearm. And now DDT onto the apron. Could have broke Ricochet's neck right there. As Santos is begging for Johnny to come around the stairs as he does. But Johnny flips him around. Super kick. Taking the John, dislocating it. As I, oh, Rick, I didn't even realize Ricochet had a chair. Ricochet was getting the chair. But Johnny, the only man standing tall as he's going back and forth and hyping the crowd up. Could this be Johnny's time? Johnny, on his own, he doesn't have 
DIY. He doesn't have Tommaso Ciampa. He really doesn't have anybody as... Oh, nope. That was a miss there. Oh, and it looks like... There we go. Double drop kick. Oh, some beautiful double team maneuvers by Johnny and Santos onto Ricochet. Smart way to go about it. Oh. The Santos sends Ricochet into Johnny, distracting Ricochet as he lifts him up and slams him down with a Falcon Arrow cover. But Johnny was right there. That was a beautiful, very smart maneuver by Santos, throwing him into Johnny, distracting him to hit him with the Falcon Arrow. Oh, sends Johnny into the corner. Goes to the other corner, but Ricochet was right there distracting Santos. As Santos. Destroyer to Johnny. As he hits Ricochet in the back of the head. Lifts Ricochet up. Falcon arrow to Ricochet. Cover hooks the leg. Both legs. One. Two. No, Ricochet able to kick out at two. As Johnny gets up to his feet. Tornado DDT. Tornado DDT on Escobar is a forearm from Johnny. I feel like we're getting close. I think the next finisher could end it. Oh, Ricochet right there. Hurricane Rana. Hurricane Rana as Escobar lifts Ricochet up and plants him down. As Johnny spins him around. Oh, but Johnny, take down. Kick down Ricochet as Gargano escaped fully walked in here. Ricochet. Oh, Santos. Oh, no. Ricochet taps out. And our winner here is Johnny Gargano. Congratulations, Johnny Gargano. He'll be going to the UK. Clash at the castle where he will face the winner of next week's contest between Rey Mysterio, Wesley, and Ilya Dragunov. Congratulations, Johnny Wrestling. Philadelphia. You're wondering why I'm not in the arena tonight, and well, quite frankly, after my successful title defense against Randy Orton, the new Raw General Manager, at WrestleMania, knocking the taste out of his mouth, I am fully aware of how violent Philadelphia really is. And, you know, you beat a crowd favorite, that violence is going to turn toward you. So I had to jump on my private jet and come right back here to Puerto Rico in my personal gym. And after making a brand new shirt, which you can get at WWEshop.com, I had to sit here and I had to think. You know what? Philadelphia, the Raw after Mania, doesn't sit right with me. But, Buffalo, New York, as the last champion with their title, I will grace you with my presence when I host Impulsive TV. Oh, and Randy Orton, just want to say, the better man won. You're right, the better man did win at WrestleMania. And that's why I'm still champion. And that's why you have been forced into a general manager role. But no hard feelings. I'll see you guys week two. No hard feelings. Yeah, you know what? I gave every single person in the locker room a fresh, clean slate as I am the new general manager. I didn't want my bias to come into play on how you succeed and how you fail. But, Logan... WrestleMania side, you didn't show up. It's my first, my first Raw under my leadership. Logan, that doesn't sit right with me. So next week when you show up at Buffalo, New York, you're not hosting Impulsive TV, no. You'll be defending that United States Championship and an open challenge against anybody who wants to pick a fight with you.
I'm glad you could make it on such short notice. Yeah, yeah. Well, the clock's ticking. I want to give the fans as much John Cena as they can handle before I eventually call it quits. But through that call, you know, you said you needed me. Looking at the roster, I really don't think you do, especially with what Roman said. He's, he's been carrying my torch for damn near eight years. Yeah, yeah, and he's not wrong, but Cena, I need you. I need you for one simple reason. And that is because I'm not going to be here every week. I'll be watching the product, but I won't be able to be in the building every week. You said you wanted another run. Well, me and you both know Randy very, very well. We both know. You can't always trust the Viper. You can't always know when he's about to attack. So, I just... I need you... To be an eye over everybody in this locker room, but mainly Randy. I don't, I don't want you keeping tabs or anything on him. I just, I need you to make sure his mind is in the right place. All right, yeah, sounds good. I can do that, but I just want to let you know that with this run, I'm gunning for Flair's record. And here we are for our main event of the evening between the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, versus big time match, John Cena, where the loser will go on to the gauntlet match, but they will become the number one entrant, and that is by far the worst position to be in, as that would mean you would have to go through one, two, three, four, five whole other men in order to become champion. So this match is detrimental to both of those men, both of these men, who are going to be competing here tonight in the main event. What a great show we've had so far, and I do appreciate you sticking, if you have made it this far, I do appreciate you sticking through. As Roman Reigns at the top of the show said he deserves to be champion. He deserves. Because one night... One night he had a mess up. One night he messed up and he gets punished for that. He said it himself. He carried John's torch and has been carrying John's torch as the guy for damn near eight years. Roman Reigns has a lot on his plate and quite frankly, quite frankly, I sympathize with the guy. But, I will say this, you cannot take away what John Cena has done. Triple H, he called up Cena. He called up Cena saying he needs him right now at Monday Night Raw. And here he comes, you can hear the trumpets as here comes Mr. Hustle, loyalty and respect, John Cena. As John, we are just hearing backstage, Triple H said he wants John to help keep the number. You know, just make sure Randy's headspace is in the right place. As long as with everybody else. So, I'm assuming Triple H wants Cena to take over as some sort of locker room leader type. And Cena? Cena said he'll do it. He's a company man. He will do it. But... He said he's gunning for Ric Flair's record. Yes, you heard me correctly. Ric Flair's record. John Cena is currently tied with them at 16 time WWE slash World Heavyweight Champion. If Cena could win this gauntlet match, he 
will break the record. And that's what John Cena's gunning for. Gunning for that record as everybody here in Philadelphia is ready for this matchup. Roman Reigns, John Cena. John Cone, let's get it on. As both men coming at strikes. As Roman grabs a hold of Cena and plants him right down to the mat. But Cena ain't taking none of that. John Cena, mind you, John Cena hasn't won a match, a one-on-one -on -one match in over half a decade since 2018 where he actually defeated Triple H at an Australia WWE Super Show. That was the last time John Cena has won a one-on-one -on -one match as John Cena. Solo Sokoa is in the free agency. Jay and Jimmy are both on SmackDown, not saying Jay would help Roman, but you know, when it comes to the bloodline, he doesn't have anybody. Rock has been shipped back off to Hollywood as John Cena has come back. So if this is, you know, if this is a time to defeat the Tribal Chief, it's when he's at his lowest, and that, his lowest? is right now when all he has is his special counsel, Paul Heyman, as he is choking John Cena in the corner. He's choking Cena out, as cover. One, only a one count as Cena pushes him off. Oh, boot. It's Roman, big forearm to the back, but Cena reverses the Irish whip. As Paul Heyman's distracting Cena. Heyman is distracting Cena, giving Roman this opportunity to hit him with a suplex. A modified suplex. It's Roman Reigns looking for the three piece and it connects. That three piece connects as a big knee to John Cena's temple. Roman trying to wear Cena down. Wear Cena down as much as he can. Driving the back of the head into the mat as a big stomp to the face of John. Oh, Cena's busted open. Cena's busted open as Roman is just was just laying in a bunch of strikes to the face. As Roman goes to the top rope, I was gonna say. It's Paul Heyman, you can see in the back, taking off the turnbuckle. I don't know if that was smart. There is John Cone. John Cone's telling Paul to go. Paul Heyman has been... Paul Heyman's out of here. Heyman is out of here as John, the referee, is setting up the turnbuckle as John Cena. He's coming back here. Roman is all alone now, officially all alone. So I don't even know if Roman notices that Paul Heyman was taken out. Oh, kick to the side of the head. It's John Cena. John Cena's gonna have to try ending this real quick because the more, the more the blood drips down in his face, the more it gets into his eyes, the harder it is to see. That is just science, folks. The punch to the back is Roman submission hold locked in. Submission hold, but no Cena fighting back. Punch in the abdomen to have Roman release the hold. Drop down. Leapfrog. Over the head. It's John. Gonna have to try everything in his power. Everything he can to make sure that he does not lose this matchup. And same goes for Roman. If you lose, that is detrimental to your world championship dreams right there. It's cover. One, two. Oh, Cena. Cena giving me a bit of a fright. I was way too close for my liking. This Roman lifting him up. Oh, Cena. Cena still fighting through. Cena still fighting through. Shades of 2010 Cena. Say so lifts him up. Fireman's carry as he plants him on the top rope. Dropping him. Oh, knee. 
is Roman. There goes Cena over the top. A punch. As Roman. Uh oh, this is not going to be good for Cena as he drops him onto the corner of the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Oh. Jawbreaker from Cena as he sends him onto the apron. Looks like we're getting a bit of a ruthless side of Cena. Although Roman, you know, with that blood, Roman is like a shark in water. Sniffs that blood, he realizes that, oh my gosh, clothesline over the top, but he realized, realizes that Cena is in. He has a weakness, a very clear weakness right here. But Cena dies, no, Roman caught him. Roman Reigns caught him, and they plant him onto the concrete floor. Cena, oh, gets dropped once again. It's the referee getting higher and higher in this 10 count. It's Roman Reigns, oh, gets planted. Eight concrete right there. Cena, oh, an elbow as Roman Reigns is busted open from that sharp elbow strike. Just like that, both men are bleeding. Cena. Uh-oh. Kind of six. Seven as Cena is just letting. Cena, you don't want to win like this. We both know it. You don't want to win like this. It's a punch. John. Oh, Cena. Cena. Has him in the attitude adjustment position. No. Roman Reigns was able to scurry out of it. Lifts him up and plants him with a Yaranagi. Oh, but an Instagram from John. John staying alive here. Big punch. What does Cena have to do? Cena is battling a very uphill battle. Granted, Roman is all by himself now. They have two, had two matches in the past. One at No Mercy years ago. Oh, Code Red. And one at SummerSlam of 2021. In the peak of Roman's title reign, John lost. At that time, he said all he needs is one, two, Three. And that moniker, that saying, still reigns supreme today. All it takes is a three count, and you have won. The stomp missing. Roman lifts Cena up. And the fireman's carry position. And plants him on the top rope, just like John did earlier on. But this time, he's trying to make John pay. In recent years, John has had to be careful. He has had to be careful on how many bumps he can take, but Roman Reigns, he doesn't care. This is more than just a run for Roman. This is getting back and getting the respect that he all lost at WrestleMania. He's choking the daylights out of Cena, as you can see. My goodness. Cena's bleeding profusely. He's bleeding on the map of Roman Reigns. He's setting them up. He set him up for the spear. Spear cover hook in the leg. One, two, no. Cena, Cena staying alive. Cena staying alive. It's a stomp to the face as Roman with the knee. Roman, oh. John was testing his patience there. Cena needs to fight back, but Roman Reigns has already put in enough damage. Roman Reigns is still, still very fresh up in this match as he turns him around. Oh, just to try physically using his fingers to dig into the cut and try prying it open even more. That's going to leave a scar. Oh. Is John... Oh, there we go. Cena. Oh, there goes Roman. And a bulldog. Bulldog as Roman rolls out of the ring. Cena. Cena needs to stay on this attack. You can't see me. Cena lifts Roman up. Attitude adjustment. But Cena can't cover. Come on, Cena. Cover. One. 
two, no! No, Roman Reigns kicks out in the last millisecond. This John needs to put this match away now. Roman is hurt. You need, you need to ensure you extract as much pain to him as you can. A Santa crossbody, this time it connects. John sends him to the ropes. No, reversed by Roman as a punch. And another punch. So he lifts Cena up and does it to him once again. Roman lifts him up like he's nothing. Cena's got to be careful as his head just clocked onto the concrete. Blood is smearing everywhere. Stomping the hand out. It's Roman. Roman could have this done, dusted, and finished very, very soon. I think all it's going to take is maybe another spear. Maybe a Superman punch combo as John has lost a lot of blood. Power bomb. Roman, is that going to be it? Cover one, two. Oh, Cena staying alive. I thought for just a split second there that was going to be it. As Roman Reigns with that submission hold once again. But John, John will not let him get a hold of that. As Cena sends him to the ropes. Oh, big knee. As John lifts him up. Snake eyes onto the top turnbuckle. As Roman rolls out of the ring once again. Cena laying him up with these strikes. Oh, over the top Cena goes. Straight to the outside. A punch to the face. Punch to the back. Saito onto the concrete floor. This new era, we're trying to make this a bit more ruthless. Cena is bleeding profusely. If you can see that torso right there, John is in danger. We might have to get some medical on the field. A spear missed. Cena was able to jump over it. Cena was able to jump over it. Elbow missed. Is a kick? No, Cena says no. Forearm. Sends him to the corner. No. Forearm from Cena. Cena gets back in. Roman gets hold of him. Oh, no. To the ropes. Oh, big shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackle from Cena. As Cena looks to drag Roman into the middle of the ring. Make sure there is no rope break if need be. But Roman gets up too fast and a spear. Spear by Reigns. It's cover. One, two, Cena. Cena stays alive. Roman can't believe it. I can't believe it. Roman, drop kick, John. I don't know how John is running. He's running on fumes at this point. It's a headbutt from Cena. Shoulder. It's cover from Cena. It's one. Two, Roman, Roman kicks out. John trying everything he can. It's Roman with a knee. Sends him to the corner, ropes, comes back, weak frog. Clothesline clocking him into the next week. And now, those tactics to try Knocking Cena out as Roman goes to the top. He leaps, elbow drops straight in the middle of Cena's chest. As uh-oh, uh-oh. Superman punch. And Roman, he wants to finish this now as he is getting ready. He wants Cena up. Spear, no. 
Cena, Cena was able to hit him with the knee. Cena stays alive here. The Cena, drop down, shoulder tackle. Goes to the ropes, comes back, shoulder tackle. With punch, no. Dropping him right down. Cover, Cena trying to take it. One, two, no, Roman stays alive. Roman staying alive. As Cena, Cena, one final move from either man. I feel like this could be it. Cena punch, and John, Cena, Cena, attitude adjustment cover, hooks the leg. One, two, three, Cena does it. John Cena has defeated the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. John Cena, a bloody mess. He had to have lost like three pints of blood. But here we are, John. John Cena with the victory. Thank you all for sticking through this show. I appreciate it. Go down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go over to Super Kick Theory to watch SmackDown. And have a good night.